Hey guys, good afternoon. It's Callie. Um, I thought I would do my January junk journal flip before the month of February is over. Um, so without further ado, let me share that with you now. And I've also started my February journal. I've made that one out of recycled cereal boxes. And I'll share that with you guys when I do my regularly scheduled Sunday video. But anyway, this is it. And those of you who've watched some of my videos have seen this with the progress of this. Um, originally, the outside cover was a uh, paper towel, a Mod Podge that did not hold up at all. I have not done any adornment on this um, for right now. Although, who knows, in the future I may. Uh, nothing on the spine. Very um, plain. I have a little ribbon closure here. I'm doing this with one hand, so... Okay, um, there's a pocket here that I've just put some of the things that have gone on the month of... I dated this. I started it uh, January 4th, and I ended it February 4th. And there's just some magazine collage. Always remember you're braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think. Homemade washi tape. Um... Again, this isn't necessarily finished, if these kinds of things ever are. But for now, I'm pretty pleased with it, and I'm happy to be putting it away. That was a mermaid that I did, um, just pencil sketch, watercolor pencils, and I put her on an existing background, again, with some homemade washi tape. This is a silk ribbon that was uh, part of one of my skirts. And I can kind of refer to this journal as BS, before stamps or stencils or anything like that. Um, this is a collage flower, some duct tape, there's a tag that I made, and I know I'm going to look back on this stuff in, in a few years and just be like, oh my goodness, I've made so much progress, but um, I'm a huge um, Wizard of Oz and Wicked fan. Uh, this is an example of a page that I, you know, haven't done anything with, but these were coffee filters and homemade washi tape, a little magazine collage. Um, this I had showed some of you guys, um, and I added these circle doodles to it, and I'm a little happier with it. Homemade texture paste, um, little man in the moon drawing that I do, I've been doing for years. Sun, um, here's a tag, there's my joker from a deck of cards. Um, that was just a graphic, free graphic from the Graphics Fairy. A little Zen Tangle, nothing really. Um, I used one of my beautiful eyelets. Um, playing around. Oh, I lied. This was one of my stamp. is one of my stamps. I have a Grateful Dead <laughs> stamp that I've had for years, probably since the late 80s. A little button. Another graphic 45 graphic, little doodles, playing around. Um, this was a, sorry for the glare, I'm always apologizing for glare, but the flash is on. Uh, homemade washi tape, um, just a postcard. This, oh, and again, 95% of this journal was done using inspiration sticks as from Claudia Rossi. Um, and this is an example of two pages that I'm not initially crazy about, but it's starting to grow on me a little bit. Um, it's very, very distressed looking. Um, these were done with a series of prompts over a background of an old print that I had done myself with just a crayon and acrylic, but that was old art underneath. It was a picture of a sun. Um, but then like, these were all done with my, my mail, last month's mail. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Um, just magazine collage, homemade washi tape. Here's an example of what I was talking about. The other picture was the sun. This was a butterfly. And I cut it out. And this was just done with crayon and acrylic paint. Uh, again, here's... Oh, I guess... You know what? I did go... Well, as soon as I got my stamps, I couldn't wait to try them out. Oh, here's a ribbon that I tucked in. So there are some random stampage here. Um, here is that fortune cookie. 
And I told you this was packaging from a kite. Homemade washi tape. And there's some happiness. Uh, the stamp that I've had for years, this crescent moon. Uh, here's a picture of a girl I was trying to draw looking at a magazine. Uh, just random collage. Again, this was a page done on a Claudia Rossi inspiration stick prompt. Oh, I did go through with the stamps. So excuse me for saying I did it before stamps. That's not true anymore. Um, love you more productions. Love clocks, as a lot of us do. This was a graphic page uh, from Graphic Fairy. And look how I did not do this intentionally, I swear. But this face peeking through the cellophane here. Um, I kind of love that. And I'll show you. She's over here. And this was just doodles. I was hanging out at Tom's house over the, um, a few days and had no other art supplies besides my pens and pencils. Um, this is also coffee filters dyed on the background. Homemade washi tape. Sheet music. Um, magazine collage. Uh, I love this page. This is shine. A uh, little bling bling here. This homemade flower. Love the shapes out of the book page. I just love how it looks. And just layers. Homemade. Mm, love her. Little birdie. Watercolor paper. There's a lot going on here. Book page collage. This butterfly was from a Kleenex box. I look at everything now. I don't want to throw anything away. I love this page. Homemade washi tape on the back there. This I was just doodling around. Checking out some of my pens. Um, this is that textured paper towel with Mod Podge on it. Homemade washi tape. And just doodles. Mushroom. Uh, no hurries, no worries. Homemade washi tape, magazine collage. Ooh, bling bling. I got this um, duct tape at Walmart the other day. Uh, yes, you heard me. I went into Walmart. Ah, it's like my annual trip once a year whether I need it or not. But I did get a bunch of art supplies, so I was very psyched. Um, Woodstock Arts. Love this one, too. Mm -hmm. She's my, one of my favorites. I just drew her out of my head. I like to do women's faces. Seems like it's a very, very popular subject matter here as I'm looking at a lot of other people's art. Um, a lot of us like to draw faces. Kind of like this one a lot too. Uh, random book page. Another butterfly from a Kleenex box. Homemade washi tape. Doodles. Some stamping. Um, same thing on this side, and this is the front of an envelope, and this was separating, so I had to put some clear packing tape, and I just kind of brought it over and incorporated it over here. This is one of those background stamps that I just got from Nurse Tara, and I pulled it in here. We're all mad here. Love the Mad Hatter. Um, just random. That was from a postcard. Uh, magazine collage and this is a uh, bling bling this is an envelope that I have a little card in here um, I think this I don't know was one of my grandkids or something I had it in a box but I think that's grandmother willow from Pocahontas look at that but I saw the saying and it said you found your path now follow it and I just thought it was so appropriate for my my love and resurgence of doing art and everything and just where I'm at in my life right now. I thought that was appropriate, so I stuck it in there. This was the first page of the journal. Um, random magazine collage. This is a set of prayer flags that I had bought a few years ago. Still have. Um, little banner. 
Om quote from Rumi um, this is packaging from incense my nag champa my favorite this is another um, oh the name of the company escapes me right now but they make the best sandalwood uh, there's a mandala <laughs> more Kleenex butterflies um, I showed you this once before I'm not gonna talk a lot about it zip in my lip that I had originally done in 07. Uh, this would be, I don't know, I'm going to call it done, but I've kind of just, I, I don't know. This is just washi tape and a few stamps over, um, this was originally paper towel, and then I gessoed on it and painted it. Here's some more of that packaging. It's like acrylic from the kite on top of an uh, article about the Woodstock Festival. There's another one of those articles. This came off a pack of bias tape of uh, random sewing notions that my mother had given me, and I just thought it was great. It said 15 cents on it. Old-fashioned packaging. Um, there's a drawing I did looking at a magazine, Balance and Harmony. Again, these were done with the Claudia Rossi prompts. Uh, she came out pretty cool. I was pretty happy with her. I told you my little whimsical house and cat. Um, trying to draw like a little kid, and I think I succeeded. Uh, meow. There's another face, and this is textured, so it kind of came out cool. Um, there's more cellophane, and th this one I intended to do, and you guys can kind of see there's a girl sitting on the moon behind there. And there she is. And on the back of this page was just more of that graphic 45 paper. And this was a postcard that was given to me when I was in the hospital. This page I like a lot. Um, I never used glitter, and that was one of the prompts from Claudia. So I'm so glad I did, because look how cool that looks. But the face came out really cool, even though the, if you look at it, really, the eyes aren't even, etc. But it's on a old um, from a, an almanac I had with some moon tables in it. So that's what the writing is. Um, the prompt said to add numbers. I made these flowers out of that same moon table paper. Just came out really cute. And the last page is just kind of random, and, and I, I felt unfinished. And so, yes, I did put a stamp on it. Every possibility begins with the courage to imagine, and that's so true. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. So I will, I am going to the auction tonight. I'm very, very excited. And I'm going to see you guys in the morning tomorrow. And hopefully I'll get something good. If not, I'll just ramble away like I always do. And I'll share my new February journal that I finished. So I hope you guys are staying warm and cozy. Um, keep on crafting and I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.